good morning from Birmingham in the UK and welcome to a new video. In today's video I'm flying to Paris Orly with the Spanish low-cost carrier Willing. Willing opened a base in Paris Orly in November of last year. Willing announced almost 30 new routes from there. They got the slots Air France had to give up in exchange for financial support from the French government. The boarding check-in counter was not really busy that morning. I just went there because I wanted to have a physical boarding pass. Security however was pretty busy that morning. Personally I would say the security at Birmingham Airport is one of the least efficient I've been to. The queue there was enormous and I almost missed my flight. They were however calling passengers whose flights were about to leave. So after a while they were calling passengers from my flight and after that I was allowed to skip the queue. So let's rush quickly to the gate as boarding is about to start. I made it to the gate on time and I even had a minute to check out the aircraft. The aircraft for today's flight is the 6 year old Airbus A321. Welcome on board this whaling Airbus A321 which is equipped with 238 seats. My seat for this flight is 26F. I was not willing to pay for a seat, so I used the online check-in so many times until I finally got a window seat. So having a first look at the seat, that legroom is tight. I mean, for me that's okay, the flight is only about an hour long. But Whaling also has flights to the Canary Islands, which sometimes take up to 5 hours. In that case, I recommend to book a seat with extra legroom. This little extra money is a good investment. <laughs> By the way, Whaling is part of the IAG, so is Aer Lingus. This A320 is on its way to Dublin. I took this exact flight from Birmingham to Dublin in September of last year. If you want to check it out, it's in the top right corner now. In the meantime, we were already pushing back. Flight time to Paris is around 58 minutes. We reached the cruising altitude and now it's time to measure the legroom and check the seat out. The legroom was only 22 centimeters, so as you can see it was pretty tight for me. And up here there's also a coat hook and a small tray table. In the seat pocket in front of your seat there's an air sickness bag and there's also a safety card which also includes how to connect with the Wi-Fi. Apparently the seats are also equipped with USB ports, but I was not able to find them. Well, let's connect my phone to the Welling Wi-Fi now and let's see how it works. The page was available in Spanish and English. There was some basic flight information, but also the weather at the destination or the buy on board service. Wi-Fi was also available for 3 euros and 50 cents, which is totally fine in my opinion. Welling charges 10 euros and 50 cents for a sandwich, a drink and a snack. And those prices are around average, competitors usually charge the same.
by the way, the seats were pretty thin, but as I said before, it's totally alright for such a short flight. And now we're already close to Paris and let me quickly summarize the flight. I did not come with a lot of expectations for this flight. However, when I compare Welling to other European low-cost carriers I've flown before, I would say the legroom is significantly worse. However, this is just my personal impression. What do you think about Welling? Have you already flown with them? Let me know in the comments. Welcome to Paris Orly, the second biggest airport of France. The airport is a hub for Air France, but also for some low-cost carriers. So you could say the concept is similar to London Gatwick, for example. Merci, Merci. Thank you for joining me on this short flight from Birmingham to Paris. I hope you enjoyed this review and if you did so, please leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel. I'm currently in the United States, so I'm glad that I'll be able to provide some long-haul flight reviews in the next weeks. But for now, I wish you a great weekend and see you next week for the next video.